Hello, this is David Hilgendorf, Media Specialist at Park Center Senior High, here to show you a few things about uh, Google Docs, which is tool number two for the five technology teaching tools program. And um, we'll start off by uh, logging into the uh, Google Docs. The way you do that is you go to the Park Center um, homepage. You go to For Staff and down to Moodle and Osseo Apps. Click on that, and it should open up the window that takes you um, takes you here. Um, it looks like I have already logged into this page. Normally, it'll uh, open up a, a place where you have your username and password over here on the left, and you just fill those in. They're the exact same things that you use when you log into your computer. So um, once you're there, then um, it'll bring you up to this window, and it shows you some of the different options that you have um, to look at. Uh, once you're in Osseo Apps. And um, there's a Gmail account that is associated with this, and that is identical to your regular email account, except after the at sign, it has uh, APPS dot. Um, otherwise, it's exactly identical to your regular email. And there's a calendar, um, and there's docs, groups, sites, if you want to, cr to create your own website. Right now we're just focusing on Google Docs, so we're going to click on the Docs button. And I'll click Yes there. So this is the way you get into uh, Osseo Apps, which is um, our own version of Google Docs. So you use your regular username and your regular password here. And I click Yes on this. It should, if you click yes or no, it should bring you to the same information. All right, so this will open up a list of the different uh, shared documents that I have um, either created or had shared with me um, using Google Docs. I'm going to let you see a few more of them. And I have used this quite a bit, so I have a big long list that's much longer than what you can see here. But uh, the different um, icons here indicate what type of document it is. So these ones with the green, uh, looks like a green gift, um, are spreadsheets. That's like an Excel spreadsheet. Um, these ones are documents, just like a Microsoft Word document. Um, and there are some other types. If you go over here to where it says Create and click on that button, it'll show you the various types that there are. So I mentioned Document and Spreadsheet. There's also Presentation which is um, similar to a PowerPoint. Um, and then there's form, which will be tool number three. Um, and finally, there's drawing, it, which is uh, simply a way to draw. The thing that's unique about these that's different from uh, using the Microsoft Office uh, suite with those uh, PowerPoint and Word and, um, and Excel, for example, is that these ones can be shared with others simultaneously um, as um, authors, as co-authors. And so that's uh, what we're going to work on today is I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's create a new document. Uh, let's just do a regular Word style document. So I just hit the uh, Create Document button and it's bringing up a blank document just like it would for Microsoft Word. And um, you can type anything in here. It'll catch up to me in a moment. There we go. If I could type, that would be helpful. Okay, so I'm going to just call this a test document, for example. All right, so I've got this test document here. And you can use these tools just like you were, would for uh, Microsoft Word or another. You could add links to it. You can number things. Um, you can make. D you can use different fonts, um, just like you would for Word. Um, what's a little bit different with this one is that you can also share this with other people. So if you go up to the Share button in the top right and click on that, it'll give you the option um, to share with somebody. So um, let's say I wanted to share with uh, someone in our 5TTT group. Well, if you can't think of people who are in that group, you can go to that site, the 5 Tech Teaching Tools site, 
and on the right hand side of that site you'll see links to participant blogs. This is, these are the names of all the people who are in the program. So I see here's Kelly's name for example. So um, if I want to uh, choose to um, share that with Kelly, I can go back out to um, the sharing sp spot of Google Docs and I can either just put in Kelly and it'll search for matches and there's Kelly or if I put in par part it would also um, look for her and find her and I select which, whoever I want to add. I could add lots of people if I want. Um, and then at this point, uh, if, I add, if I click share and save right now, this would give Kelly full rights to edit this, this document that I just created because it says Kelly can edit. I can make it so that she can only view the document or she can make comments on the document but can't change anything besides that. Um, or again, she could be a full-fledged editor where she can make any changes she wants. Um, if I want to add a message, um, this message would go to whoever you have uh, added to this batch. So I could have added a list of 10 people here. Um, all right, so I'm just going to call this a test. Uh, you can send a copy to yourself as well if you want. And if you did that, it would send it to your app's address. So that's the address that I was talking about before. Is See how it has that APPS um, addition to it from your regular district email address. <coughs> um, um, and then you go ahead and say save uh, or share, which you can't see. It's off the screen right here. You may have to scroll down to get to that place. I want you to be able to see it. Oh, well, you can't see it. Um, all right, there we go where it says share and save. So I could uh, share and save that and uh, you can see here her name has been added to the list of people who can edit this uh, document. I'm done with uh, sharing it and now um, my document is available under my uh, documents list. If I click on documents at the top here it will go back to that list of documents and the one that was most recently edited should automatically go to the top of your list. So there's the test document for 5TTT. Those are the main things you'll need to know for this um, assignment and uh, for learning this tool rather. Um, the main thing that uh, I haven't said is what is a wiki um, because I, I mentioned that in the title and a wiki is a shared document, a shared electronic document that can have multiple authors and those authors may be able to access it simultaneously and may have a variety of rights to edit or view or comment on that particular type of document. Um, you can do the same thing with the presentations, spreadsheets, drawings for this assignment. So um, have fun. Um, oh no, there was one more thing. So uh, there's one other thing that you need to do for this assignment and that is to create a collection. So um, if it, you can go under create and collection and all that is is it's another word for folder. If you want to put a bunch of these documents into a folder you can say create a collection and you'll have to name it Oops. and I'm just gonna randomly give it a test name um, and, and now it'll automatically show you what's in that folder. Well we haven't put anything in that folder yet so let's go back to the documents list. There's a few ways to do that. You can say all items here, or you can just go, go back to click on documents. Either of those will take you back to your list. So now you can see the test collection, the folder, is the most recent thing that I've done. And I'm going to scroll down over here so we can see that on the left. It's added to my other collections, the test collection here. And this is the document that I wanted to add to it. So all I'm taking, all I'm doing is pressing down the left mouse button while I hold that, hold it over that icon, and now I drag it down over into Test Collection, and I let go. Now, if I click on Test Collection, it'll show the document that I've added. Thank you very much. I hope this is helpful for you. I did forget something else. If you uh, open a document, you can also make comments on the document. And in order to do that, I'm opening that test document that we just uh, created. Sorry for the delay and waiting for it to open. 
and if you um, if you go under the file menu you should be able to go down to um, comment uh, oh no excuse me it's in the uh, insert menu go down to comment um, you put your comment in the box that appears and click comment and it will it'll, uh, put a little highlighted area wherever your cursor was before you made that comment so you'll want to put your cursor in an appropriate place so that when people are looking at that area they see oh someone has a comment about this um, and let's read what their comment is so over here it says I don't think this is good and it says who did it and when they when they made the comment so that's another thing that you'll have to do for this assignment once someone has shared a document with you you'll be able to edit it just as if it were your own document it will appear in your document list and you'll be able to click click in there um, even if they're already typing into it um, and you can add info and they can go ahead and erase the info you just added and it can become quite the funny uh, battle scene if you've got lots of people um, vying for space on your document but uh, normally it's a cooperative venture and I hope that that is what it is for you and uh, your students. Enjoy.